Hello, it's Crafty Ria, and I'm back again today for some more Christmas in July, recycling a couple Christmas cards. Like I really need an excuse to recycle Christmas cards, but it's July and we all say Christmas in July, so I might as well use that as my excuse. Today I will be recycling these two really cute Christmas cards. We have the Christmas ornament card and we have the Oh Dear card with some red foil on it. Very cute. I'm going to be using my die cutter machine today. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can cut them out any way you like. But I just happen to have some circle dies and one of them fits perfectly on this one. There we go. I have that that die which goes right on there. And while I was looking through my dies, I found one for the deer. I have these scalloped edge rectangle dies and I think that goes around that deer really neat. And I just happen to have a piece of this foil, red foil paper that I will use with it. And I also found a card base that is um, the same color as this card base. It's a craft paper. It's a very thin cardstock. It's not thick at all. I'm very disappointed in it, but I will use it to make this card anyway. And for this one, I will use just the regular white cardstock. These are both um, four and a quarter by five and a half, which is a standard A2 size card. So let's go ahead and do this little guy first. Actually, I'll kind of do them both in together assembly style because when I bring my die cutting machine up here, I'll do both of them at once. So I'll start by cutting the fronts of the cards off. I'm also going to cut this oh dear off before I die cut. Because I will put this on the card on the front somewhere possibly. And while I have this here, I'll cut out the sentiments on the inside. And I really like this design, so I think I'm gonna mat this on here. So let me just cut this down a little bit. I really like the way that looks for the inside of the card. I wanted to use this back, this uh, back of the card somehow. And then I will cut out this sentiment here as well. All right. Sorry, I'm not sure. My husband's talking to 
our Amazon device in the other room, and the one in my room with the door shut is answering. <laughs> so he's taking the dog out and he told it to turn on the lights out front. We have lights on our front porch, some of those old fashioned, really cool strands of lights. Okay, so we're going to cut out this deer. And I think that's going to be okay right like that. I don't think I need to um, tape it down. I have a magnetic platform under here and it does a really good job. And there we go, and I'll pop out all those little pieces in a minute. And then we have this one. I will use, well, maybe I won't. Yeah, I think I will, just to be safe. A little piece of this tape, I'm gonna hold it up so I can make sure it's lined up on there as best as I can get it because that one really matters because it goes around the outside of the um, ornament. This is my Ellison Big Shot machine. I bought it on clearance when they were switching from the Ellison name to the Sizzix name. And mine just happens to say Ellison, so I got it at a really, really good price. It's the exact same as the Sizzix one. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to bounce the camera around. And there we go, we have that cut out. So let's go ahead and do this card first. So I have to cut the card mat down a little bit. And I wanna kind of keep it the same. I'm wondering though if I might wanna cut it down to four inches. I might cut this to four inches and then I can use one of my millions of envelopes with it. I have a lot of envelopes that are perfect for a four inch wide card. Since, so since this one had a little extra room, I thought that would be perfect. Yep. I do need to trim this edge off because it's got some white fibers hanging out. I'm just going to take just a sliver off of that edge. And then I will cut it. Let me measure it and make a mark with my pencil. and trim, I can spare some room on the bottom of this one. So I'll trim that bottom off. There we go. I may have trimmed a little more than I wanted off that bottom, but that's okay. That gives it a really big white border. And I will go ahead and use my tape runner I just filled my tape runner up with new tape since it ran out. It always runs so good when I put new tape on in it. I wish it ran this good all the time. I'm thinking I might need a new one. This tape runner, sometimes it just gives me some trouble. I'm going to just rub off the extra adhesive that went over the edge. There we go. And then I will pop this up on some pop dots or some foam tape. 
This is foam tape from the Dollar Tree. I'll just put three pieces on there. And when I like to line it up, I usually, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, I set the, the cutout piece right in that as if it were to lay flat and I hold it down and then stick it down. That way it lines up perfectly in the hole. And then I want to tie an actual bow up here. So I have some white ribbon. It was the closest I had that matched in the right size. And then one quick easy way to tie a bow is just pretend you're five years old again. You make two loops. I made one loop and hold it. I make the other loop about the same size right up against it. And then I tie them in a knot. Now, of course, I'll be fumbly here on camera. I practiced this before the video and it worked great. So just tie those in a knot and it'll come out all wonky probably, but that's okay because you can adjust your bow by pulling on the edges or by making the loops bigger. And if you're really careful, you'll get a really good bow. And you can tighten it down and adjust it any way you want. So that's one really easy way to make a bow. And usually it comes out really good when you do it like that and it'll lay flat. There we go. And then I'm just going to use my adhesive and make a spot right up there. Let me see if I can get this to lay, to open and lay the right way. There we go. And then I'll just cut each little piece. I like to cut them at an angle that's not very angled. Let me try one more time on this one. There we go. So we have a real bow there. I'm gonna move it down a little bit there. I think that came out really cute. I have some stickles that I'm going to use on here for some of the snow. This is actually Studio G brand. It's just a glitter glue. It's very much like stickles. And I'm just going to put some on where the snow banks are. Put a little bit on the trees because they have snow on them, on the roofs. And I will put some along here. I store my stickles upside down so they're always ready to go. And that'll be really, really shiny when it dries. So that card is done. Now let's go ahead and work on this card. I'm going to take these little pieces out. I do have a brush that I can rub over this, but it's not within reach. So I'm just using my pencil and poking these little pieces out. There's not that many, most of them came out.
Okay, I got all the little pieces out. Let me just clean those off my desk. So I have this foil paper and I want to decide if I want it on the whole card. I have to see what I'm going to do with this oh dear. I will cut it larger than I think I might need it. Enough to go to mat on that whole card. Let me see, I'm all lop lopper jawed here. Let me straighten out this camera, there we go. So I'm going to cut it at four and one eighth. by five and three eighths. Now it seemed like one of those edges was not squared up. So I wanna make sure this is square. Well, rectangle. I'm gonna take a little sliver off of this other side. See if that looks a little more squared up. Yeah, and you can still see the craft paper behind it. Now I can mount that there. And I have the oh dear. It won't fit there, so I'm going to have to mount it down. Okay, I left one piece behind. There we go. I think I will go ahead and mat the deer in the middle and then the oh deer, this piece is crooked. I think that would be okay. All right, and then the oh deer all pop up there. Okay, I got my idea. I'm gonna put my adhesive using this straight on the card because that foil paper is, I think, too thin to get this on there really good. And then I will line this up as I always do. There we go. and I will adhere this down. I'm not going to pop this up with pop dots or foam tape. Since the card is pretty flimsy, I do want this extra layer of cardstock right on it. And then I've got this little piece here Oh dear. And I'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to give this a trim with my scissors. And it is a little crooked. So I'm just gonna try to straighten that out a little bit. I don't usually use scissors to cut my borders, but 
There we go. That was kind of a crooked piece. So then I will take my foam adhesive, I will cut it in half. I have these scissors that are supposed to be non-stick, they're titanium blades. We'll see how that works. Hey, that popped right off. Maybe there is something to these titanium blades. It didn't get gummed up. I'm going to try using those for my adhesive from now on. I was using my cutter bees, and then one of my viewers said, hey, you can get the Teflon kind. And then I remembered I had those other ones that were supposed to be non-stick. I think I kind of like that kind of like right here. Oh dear. And my inside piece. I really like this pattern. But I also really liked that sentiment, and I wanted it to uh, I wanted to use it since it was red and it had the deer, so it worked out good that I was able to use both. Oops, I'm trying to open it the other way. There we go. That looks really good, I think, on the inside. And all that extra cardstock gives it some stability. So there we go. We have the two cards. Simple and easy, yet they look really, really good. I just put my hand in the stickles, so don't do that. All right. Well, I want to thank you all again for watching. As always, I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do click that subscribe button and tell your friends. I'm getting really close to a thousand subscribers and I will be doing a nice giveaway at a thousand. If you haven't yet left a comment, please do so. I would enjoy it. I love to read your comments and give it a thumbs up. And then also head on over to my Facebook group, Create with Crafty Rhea. The Facebook group is growing every single day and it's a lot of fun. The ladies there are awesome and wonderful and so much fun. So head on over there and, and, and um, come and enjoy with us and craft with us. You guys take care and until the next video, go get crafting. Bye-bye. <laughs>